Hey guys, what's going on? Steve, I'm back again, and I'm back with another episode of If the Emperor Had a Text-to-Speech Device. This is episode 18, called Banished Expectations. And of course, the video is by Bruva Alphabusa. Alright, here we go. I think you were the biggest war boss. Say this. This is what our biggest, baddest war boss in the sector looks like. You. You is a fat one for sure. Ooh. Ah, is that really coming from someone who calls himself Blitzer? You must have dropped focus speed like a cork and squig off to get that caught on two front and title. Yeah, that orc is not giving up. Oh, what do you want from me? Orc came here to show you what a real orc of fame looks like. And now that you've seen it, maybe it's time for you to be enlightened by Gork and Mork as well, my son. All right, what is the Emperor up to today? All right, he's going to deal with the Inquisitors. Since they were at, like, the doorstep last time. Yep. You were told along. Heresy! A demon is in the presence of the God Emperor. Who is this brazen fool, and who left the door unlocked? Silence, filthy demons! On! I, Theodore Karamazov, of the God Emperor's Holy Inquisition, has seen through your devious plan. I'm not sure you understand. We have come here to banish you back from whence you came, destroy all that you have corrupted, and reform the Imperium with the God Emperor as our very witness. <sighs> See what I was talking about when I said the Imperium is sunken together like a failed souffle. Prepare to be purged from this existence, you one-eyed abomination. Father, can you tell him what's going on here? I said silent. Order, Carl Masso. My, my brother. You done fucked up if now. You said my name. Yes, I have felt your presence ever since you arrived on Terra. Ever since I... arrived? Yes. You have come here faced with complete adversity, having searched through the entire... I'm sure the Emperor's got a lot of things diligence. to say. You have been halted in your progress by the very leaders of the Imperium, but you have carried on. Even have you been confronted by my very own bodyguards, and told directly that I am the one who ordered the disbanding of your organization. Yet you have not given up on your conviction that everyone is plotting against you and that the very core of the Imperium has become corrupt. That, that is precisely right, my Emperor. Well, now that you have come so far, I believe it is due time to tell you that you have done a great job. What the fuck? Th thank you, oh, holy God, Emperor. 
to be recognized by the Okay, I'm with them. Like, what? I, I was expecting to be like, by the one true get fucked. <laughs> no concern, Yogur. I am actually quite humbled myself that you never gave up on your ludicrous ideas even though all sense went against you and decided to break into my palace anyway. Really, my emperor? I'm sure he's plotting something. Yes, of course, my child. Truly, you are the greatest hero I have ever had the pleasure of being rescued by. <laughs> 20 bucks once they leave, Emperor's gonna be like, yeah, kill him. Something like that. Something. <laughs> I told you the exact same thing yesterday, and then you just kicked me. <laughs> Be quiet, Dominique. <laughs> In fact, I would even go so far as to take the title from my old friend Malkin Dor, my one true friend and only person I have ever had nothing but complete and utter respect for, and give that title to you instead. You truly think I deserve such a thing, my emperor? I mean, I've always thought so myself, or stare at myself in the mirror. Do you really think so as well? Why yes, Jador. Your looks perfectly match your sharp wit and unmatched prowess in combat. <laughs> um, I'm worried, sorry to interrupt, but uh, anime is still present in the room. Yes, hello. Perhaps. <laughs> you forget about me. I'm not sure what makes you think you are allowed to talk, little Xeno fetishist, but I suggest that you shut your fucking mouth, as I'm just about to crown the new emperor here. Ah, the new emperor! Why, yes, of course, my child. An Imperium must always have an active ruler, and it only makes sense if that leader has the title of emperor. And since I am no longer an emperor, but a god, it would only be fair to pass that oh, okay. title on to someone such as you. Yo, <laughs> Nora, did you take your meds this morning? Father, what in the world are you doing? You, Yoder, will be in direct control of the entire Imperium, including all branches of the Inquisition, the entirety of the Ecclesiarchy, all of the Adeptus Terra, and every single Astartes in the galaxy. You will lead mankind to a new age where all have faith in the one true God and the rightful ruler of mankind being me and you respectively. All heretics in the galaxy He's will die or something. deaths and mankind will reign supreme. No Xenos, mutants, or poor people allowed. It's just what I've always dreamed of. Yes, I am aware, Fjorger. I have seen all your dreams. You have? Yes. Would you like to know why? Why is that, my emperor? Because you and I are the same. We are? Why, yes, Parker. When fucking Horos mortally wounded us during the Horus heresy, when we were confined to the Golden Throne, our souls started to splinter and float away from one another. A piece of that soul found its way to your mother, impregnating her with you. You were destined to be the savior of mankind ever since your birth, as you were both my son and part of me at the same time. There's gonna be a plot this twist or something. Brain. And why you are so perfect, Fjolder. It all makes sense now! Yes, Fjolder. You have been led here for the grandest purpose the universe shall ever take part in. You must defeat my traitorous son Magnus the Red, who has taken me hostage. Yes. Yes. I'm ready. This is what I've trained for all my life. This is what I... No. My Emperor, this is what we have planned for millennia. The prophecy has come true. Mankind is finally saved. I am officially done with this. My children. Charge! <laughs> What was hmm. that all about? I haven't experienced such sublime shark den Freud since I burned the last church of terror. Interesting. Seriously though, good job with the massive warp rift thing, just as I expected. My lord, none of what you said was true, right? I am offended by the fact that you even assumed this. I still do not understand a thing. Why were they even here? Well, a while ago I decreed the disbanding well of the played, Inquisition Emperor. and well the Ecclesiarchy played. because they were fucking stupid and completely went against what the secular Imperium I invented 10,000 years ago stood for. What, really? That is... um... well... I cannot say it sounds like the best idea you ever had. Don't worry, it totally is, because as a result of my masterful planning, you just sent the worst parts of the Inquisition straight into the bowels of the warp. Uh, oh. So, 
This was all part of your plan? You fucking bet. You were stick looking brother fuck. So hold up. You this was all part of the plan. So I could send the Inquisition into the warp? No. You were also here to take the blame for it. That's what? Uh-huh. Crap. Wait. Wait. Hold on, Theodore. Don't you? Huh? My Emperor. Spare me your religious worship, Top Hat. <laughs> you. You actually speak. I mean, I am very sorry, my Emperor. Please forgive me for intruding in this most holy place in which I am not worthy of being. I was just trying to stop that foolish Inquisitor from invading. Yes, and that is all very good indeed. You have passed my test. Uh, your test? Certainly. I sent out my decree about disbanding the Inquisition and the Ecclesiarchy to root out the biggest probable sources of corruption within the Imperium. To see that you, the primary ruler of the Adeptus Ministorum, decided to keep yourself loyal instead of going batshit crazy and burning shitloads of houses in response to my decree is a sign that you and your organization might be salvageable. My lord, I don't understand. Salvageable? Have we gone against your will? You better believe you fucking Damn right have. you have. I specifically stated that I never wanted to be worshipped as a god 10,000 years ago. The book that you preach from is actually written by my son Lord Gar, who just happens to be what you people would call a giant fucking heretic. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my emperor. Is this true? I'm sorry to tell you this, but your entire life and it's a lie. whole organization is based around lies and deceit. How does it feel to be lied to? I... Uh, I'm so oh, sorry. His hat went limp. <laughs> I have failed. Stop your sniveling, you fucking pope stickle. Huh? I told you that you have passed my test, and I therefore deem you worthy of reforming your organization to serve my true intentions. The time is nigh to fix the plumbing of this Imperium, as layers upon layers of sanctimonious shit has clogged it up for too many millennia. That is... I... I am most humbled, my Emperor. I will follow you no matter where you may lead us. See, if everyone said that we wouldn't have any problems ever. Take notes, Magnus. Yeah, one second you're all like, I don't want to be a god, and the next you're like, but you should all still treat me like one. Quite before I pour Prometheum <laughs> juice into your eye. But, 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 my lord, I have a question, if I may. Yes, you may still wear your stupid fucking hat. That was my second question, actually. Okay. But my emperor, as long as I can wear my hat. If the Adeptus Ministorum to work as you intended to, would that not spawn giant chasms of disbelief and rebellion within the entirety of mankind? We have been indoctrinated into believing the Lectitio Divinitatus for millennia. Easy solution. We will release a reprint of the book that is actually completely different. It should have a shiny cover, some pretty pictures, and the Emperor's seal of approval upon it. We'll release it all over the galaxy. And I mean, can't go wrong with pretty pictures. The Imperium reads it. And don't worry about them suspecting foul play. From my personal experience with the current day citizens of the Imperium, they could then tell an Aquila symbol from a fucking parrot. Oh, oh, very well, my lord. Thank you for setting my path straight. I have a lot of work to take care of, but I shall succeed in your name. Fantabulous, go for it. Fantabulous. Oh, and while you are at it, send a message to the remaining Inquisitors out there that they can keep their jobs because they are total assholes. I shall do so, my lord. I will not fail. If you require any aid in writing the reprint, just come up here and I shall graciously help you out like the merciful not god that I am. Thanks a million times over. The merciful lord. not god I that I am. That offer. Emperor bless. I uh, I mean, um have a great day, my lord. Well, that was certainly something. I'm just surprised you didn't notice the giant crimson demon standing in the middle of the room. Well, I presume that's all fine and good, since he's not even supposed to recognize that I or any beings of chaos exist anymore. Just like the good old days. Hello, hello, hello now. I did tell you that I'm not going for the smokes and mirrors approach anymore. What are you even talking about? You just sent like 80% of the Inquisition into the warp by tricking their leader that he was you. Well, he never fucking asked if I was telling the truth or not. Actually, I think he did. Shut your fuck ass mouth before I put you back into the box. <sighs> 10,000 years of resentment. <laughs> Where am I? Am 
Hello? Are you there? Uh, Chilo? We are in the Holy Well, where all those in the material homes have disappeared. They all have been replaced in confusion. Darkness. Demons, even. We're inside a metal album cover. We are in the war. The realm of chaos? Heresy! Heresy everywhere! Well, do your job then. <laughs> One day or two. Well, that's just fantastic. All of our troops are dying. Hey, Dominic, do you die? Are you kidding? I've never felt more alive. This is just like what I'm doing with the spook. <sighs> oh, this is but a minor setback. I shall come and reunite with the Emperor. I thought I myself. No demonic man shall stop me from fulfilling my fate. Great. There you go. Go to it. Demon. No. That is a good looking beard you have there, sir. I too have a beard. Have you seen my beard? It is full of tiny men. Please, kill them all! <laughs> Inquisitorial anger. Alright, lads. Everything's gone quiet outside. I wonder what's going on right now. Bugger if I know, all of our scanning equipment's been broken. <laughs> Damn bombardments and... I don't know if I'm the only one that's noticed this, but we're all out of that's food, true. too! Yeah. That's mostly because you've eaten it all, you fat bastard. Oh, right, all right, everyone settle down. That'd be me. If we're out of food. Out there, it probably grabbed its attention by now. Wait. Here. Hang on a minute. What's that? Do you guys hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Yes. Actually, I hear that, too. What the devil is that? Hello? Hello? <laughs> hey there! Is anyone in? Who is this? It's an hospital! We're breaking into your base! Everyone say hello to our new friend! Shit, 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 shit! Hello! <laughs> is anyone here? We're coming in! We are so that's what the noise marines are really like. So that's what Norse uh, Marines are like. Oh, <clears throat> is that so? He's there too? Well, why don't you put the cutie on? Happy! How are you doing? <laughs> mm, dominant is always. I like it. I can't get over the voice. Can't get it with a voice. No, no, I don't have any oh, time boy. for that time. So Another party. I can't wait. Hmm. I'll see you there, handsome. Oh, could you put Fulgrim back on? Thank you. <laughs> Hello again, babe. Yeah, I got the message. So I guess I'll see you there. Love you too. Okay, that was cool. That was cool. I really like the noise marines. That was actually really cool how they just broke in. This little scene right here. Everyone say hello to our new friend. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, shit, shit. 
right when they get in, it's awesome. That does kind of fit. That does fit. Them. You know, some distant laugh and everything like that. And now you're dead. And now you're dead. <laughs> and turns into an evil laugh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is going to blue. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah. That was awesome. That was funny as hell. That was absolutely fantastic. God, the noise marines were too funny. Do, 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 do. Was there another one? Oh, someone said I should do device short after this. Why not? It's only about three minutes, so here we go. Uh, text to speech device short four. I have gathered you here today to reveal unto you the most important development in all of recent history. I, Ecclesiarch Decius the 23rd, have been granted audience with the Emperor himself. And he has disclosed to me the truth of our organization, our influence, and our very fate. Fuck it. <laughs> Please, hold on to your hats, my friends. The truth that poor guy doesn't get a hat. That the Lactitio Divinitatus, our holy book, is a lie. The Emperor is not actually a god. Oh. How dare you even say such a thing, Ecclesiarch? <laughs> All the you hats go limp. No, you must listen. What I say is true. He has told me so himself. Have you no faith in me? That is ironic. If the Emperor isn't the god he is, how do you disprove all the miracles he is? I have a bad, I, I have a bad feeling this is going to backfire on him. Well, that was the Emperor. But, uh, he, you know wasn't a god when doing it, or something. That's just rubbish! We would not even be speaking right now if the Emperor did not impose his divine will upon us. Morality stems from the god Emperor. They're probably going to take him out for, you know, talking heresy. Roots. We could always just, uh, keep following the Emperor's example and just not be total asshats. Whoa, well if the Emperor isn't a god, how come when I look at a picture of him, I always get the unrelenting urge to bend myself over and pray ecstatically? <sighs> Checkmate, bitch! That's... Disturbing. That's a good point. <laughs> You're a liar and a heretic, Decius. Your sins cannot be forgiven. Take his hat from him! No! Do you not see the error of your ways? The Emperor is no god, and to lump him into that obscene category is what is heresy around here. Compare our Emperor. Radiant, beautiful, magnificent, to the ones considered gods in this galaxy. Nurgle, a supernatural garbage bag. Horn, a paraplegic sociopath. Siege, <laughs> an indecisive mollusk. Slanesh, never went to rehab. Mork and Mork, literal mushrooms. Kane, Big Daddy Count Arsberg, a pleasure hunter. Isha, supernatural garbage can. Check her out. A fucking clown. The Nightbringer, has no friends. And the Deceiver, who's just straight up an idiot. He doesn't exist. Shut up about it. Oh, I know. I feel the same way. Poor Malal. It's disgraceful. It is a title fallaciously forced upon him to associate him with beings of lesser worth. No, our great father is no god. He is a man, like all of us. He is a human being, the greatest human being to exist in our galaxy and beyond. We must all learn that a god is not intrinsically greater than us. Only weaklings succumb to their deceitful promises of fame and power. We share the same blood with our magnificent emperor. We are him, and he is us. He always knew this better than anyone, and he wants us to embrace that Good same speech. ideal. Mankind is greater than any lowly god creature. We are the greatest species in existence, and the emperor is the greatest being of our species. He is a man, and you will pray to him as such. All hail the man emperor of mankind. The man emperor of mankind. Ye. Ye. Father, why are you doing this? Okay, so there we go. Yeah, someone told me I had to watch uh, short four as soon as I could, so figured what the hell. Might as well as the next video anyway, so yeah, that takes care of that. Yeah.
These are awesome. These are funny as all hell. I am really enjoying these. So this is one hell of a series. What's next? Ember had text to speech. 18.5 atrocious answers. Ooh. That sounds like it's going to be fun. Is this like another Q&A with the Emperor? Should be cool. All right. So there we go. I think the video is long enough as it is. You know, I did two parts there. So, you know, each of these videos are roughly about 20 minutes now. So, yeah, they are kind of long. So, so yeah. So there we go. There is uh, episode 18 and short number four. So that's pretty cool. I was kind of expecting it to go completely different there, you know, when he started saying, yeah, Emperor's not a god, he's just a man and stuff like that. I thought, I just kind of thought that was going to be like the Emperor's plan, you know, those guys were going to take him out because, you know, that's all crazy talk, but apparently his speech did it and they're going along with it. So there we go. All right. So anyways, there we go. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. And of course, leave me all your thoughts and comments. And stick around for uh, more episodes. Or maybe I'll um, uh, maybe I'll jump on to some more lore videos like I did uh, last time with the Dark Angels. I believe there's a couple more that I kind of want to do. Uh, so... Yeah, just stick around. More videos are on the way, and I will see you guys next time.